We have a number of supplementaries. The first from Mary Gujo. The First Minister will no doubt have heard the news today that Dundee's bid to become the European capital of culture in 2023 has been dealt a fatal blow because, according to reports, the UK will now no longer be able to host this because of Brexit. Now, Dundee's bid had the potential to have a massive positive impact, not just for Dundee, but for the likes of my constituency in Angus North and Mearns and the wider North East. So can I ask the First Minister what conversations she has had ha and the Scottish Government has had with the UK Government on this matter? First Minister. Well, can I thank Mary Gujon for raising this issue. I'm absolutely dismayed uh, by the news that I've heard this morning from the European Commission uh, that Dundee's uh, European Capital of Culture uh, bid looks as if it is going to be the latest victim of the Tories' obsession with taking this country out of the European Union against our will, and they should hang their heads in shame. Uh, the, the Scottish Government, uh, of course, uh, anticipated uh, these issues. Uh, late last year, Fiona Hislop wrote to the UK Government to highlight the enormous benefits that international cultural engagement can bring and to seek reassurances then that the UK would continue to participate in partnerships like the European Capital of Culture. So it is now deeply concerning that the amount of time, effort and expense that Dundee have put into scoping out their bid could be wasted thanks to the Brexit policy of this Tory government. So we are uh, now in urgent contact with the UK government and uh, Dundee to understand the potential implications of this situation and to establish what action the UK government is going to take to address it. And let me uh, leave the chamber in no doubt. I call on the UK government today to make clear uh, not just why this has happened, but how they intend to fix it so that Dundee can continue to aspire to be the European capital of culture that it so richly deserves to be. Yes. <laughs> Jeremy Balfour. <clears throat> uh, thank you, President Officer. 